Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Dragon Age Origins. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today. We got through this, the Revenant. We got through it without dying. Which is very surprising, because I honestly wasn't expecting that. But we opened the door for Sir Perth, and I think none of them died either, so uh, hello. You have opened the gates. That is good. My men that and is. I are eager to see our Isle again. Shall we enter the main hall together? It must be held if we are to regain control of the castle. I want to... I actually know. I would prefer to go alone. As you wish. We will hold the gate and watch for anyone attempting to leave. Let me know if the situation changes. That's a good point, actually. That is a better strategy. That they hold the gate to prevent people from leaving. Uh, yeah, because I don't think anybody's outside. You know, stopping them and all that. People from leaving. That's a good strategy. I think I, think I like it. Um, not that I'm afraid right now that I will mess up. Oh, there's a barrel down there. That I'll mess up anything. Uh, but you never know. Why is there a barrel down there? Was there a barrel always? I think there might have been a barrel always. Anyway, what's going on? Hello. There you are. Oh, I probably got it the first time around. Oh, trade manifest though. No, it's just things that we can sell and all that sort of stuff. And that little tree is not for us. At least not right now. And in here. Hopefully no revenant. As long as there's no revenant. I mean, we're good. It's basically how it works. You don't have that. Thank you. You can have that. That's good. Let's see what we can pull off. What the? What? Not the violence. So these are our visitors. The ones you told me about, Mother. Y yes, Connor. And this is the one who defeated my soldiers. The ones I sent to reclaim my village. Yes. And now it's staring at me. What is it, Mother? I can't see it well enough. This is an elf, Connor. You... You've seen elves before. We have them here in the castle. Oh, I remember. I had their ears cut off and fed to the dogs. The dogs chew for hours. <laughs> Shall I send it to the kennels, mother? Connor, I beg you. Don't hurt anyone. Ma mother? What? What's happening? Where am I? Oh, thank the maker. Connor. Connor, can you hear me? Get away from me, fool woman! You are beginning to bore me! Grey Warden, please don't hurt my son. He is not responsible for what he does. What did you do with Ban Tegan? Here I am! Here am I! <laughs> I like him better this way. <laughs> no more yelling. Now he amuses me. <laughs> Connor didn't mean to do this. It was that mage, the one who poisoned Demon. He started all this. He summoned this demon. Connor was just trying to help his father. And made a deal with the demon to do so? Foolish child. It was a fair deal, father is alive, just as I wanted. Now it's my turn to sit on the throne and send out armies to conquer the world. Nobody tells me what to do anymore. Nobody tells him what to do. Nobody! Ha 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 ha! Quiet, uncle! I warned you what would happen if you kept shouting, didn't I? Yes, I did. But let's keep things civil. This man will have the audience he seeks. Tell us, what have you come here for? He made Ban Tegan annoying. He turned him into an annoying person. That's awful. He was he's super annoying. 
<laughs> it's really annoying. Although I do, I do, I mm, court court jest rest, jesters. Is it jesters? It, it is, isn't it? Jester. Yeah, I think it is. The, yeah, court gestures, jests. No. What is? It? I don't. Yeah. The the. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. Maybe. Uh, those annoy me tremendously. Always. I don't know why. But I look back at uh, others that I know, and they like always annoy me invariably for multiple reasons, and that's why I don't know why. Uh, but anyway, he's of course either possessed or he's faking it, which probably would. Uh, yeah. Um. Why have it, what have you come for? I need to see Arl Eamon. Hmm, but before I say that, it's important to remind you, delicious viewer, that I still believe his mother is the one responsible for this. She's in a position here that um that really makes me think that's the case. Uh it's kind of tricky. It's kind of tricky. Um, yeah, I need to see Arl Eamon. So you're a concerned well-wisher. Why didn't you say that in the first place? All this sneaking around and killing is so unnecessary. But father is so very ill. We really shouldn't disturb him. Isn't that right, mother? I... I don't think... Of course you don't! Ever since you sent the knights away, you do nothing but deprive me of my fun. Frankly, it's getting dull. I crave excitement and action. This man spoiled my sport by saving that stupid village, and now he'll repay me. Okay. Well, at least we... No, we still have the violence. So, we're killing Ben Tegan. Interesting. And I believe that happened because we sent him? I really tried not to get him in here. You might remember. There was no choice there. At least not... It didn't seem like there was a choice. Anyway, he's going down. Uh, so how am I going to do this? It's going to be kind of complicated. Let's see. Okay, I think this should work. Good. Uh, so he's stunned, which means I can bring you back here. I can attack you with... No, I can disable this. Uh, and I can attack you with that. Oh, disabling doesn't take time. That's lovely. Okay, so you do that. Yep, you do that. And then you are going to stun them all in the face. Let's uh, do this over here. Good. Uh, and uh, I'm going to do something wrong. Because time is of the essence right now. And people are in positions that I need to take advantage of. Is this going to work? Yes. Hopefully. Okay, so she cast it, and she's getting out. Good, good, good. I think that might not have gotten her. Uh, we got a little bit of a problem over here, but that's not a big deal. Uh, let's just keep... No, that did get her. Okay. I'm not really sure about everything. Uh, let's see. Can I get you three? I should be able to get you three, maybe. Two of you? That was reasonable. Uh, okay, so that guy is a, is a problem. Uh, Ween is taking super amounts of damage over here. Let's go with a party heal. Can you do a party heal? Did she do a party heal already? Nope, she did it now. Okay, that's a huge problem. So you, back there, need to get this. And uh, Earthquake. Because that one is fast. Although I'm pretty sure it still hurts... I'm not really sure. Uh, well, there's people back there. Where's the kid? Uh, I think Baylor is going to be all right, hopefully. Uh, earthquake has been cast. And then you are having... Yeah, you're giving me trouble. Uh, Morgan, did you cast it already? Yes, you did. Okay, let's do this. Okay, and let... Uh, did you cast it? Well, there it is. And then do this. And then do that. Uh, and that should be a kill. Yes, it is. People are being weird up there, f because of course they are. Uh, we're waiting for this one, so I'm going to try and position myself into a better place, and then we can kill this guy easily. Let's do it. 
Okay, you are casting things you shouldn't be casting. And then you cast that. Pay attention, pay attention. Yeah, that's a kill. Okay, now you need to go down. Shouldn't be much of a problem. That guy's gonna be a problem, though. Who's who's that? Who's this? Yeah. Go over there. Maybe. Maybe go over there. I actually don't know what you're doing. Oh, well. That's kind of a problem. Where the heck did they go? Oh, over there. Okay. Let's do a stun. Interesting. Where the heck are they going? Ban... Um, so he's stunned, which is okay. I'm gonna do a repost over here. Alistair is still threatening them, but it doesn't matter for whatever reason. Let's try and stun you. Oh, that does. Overpower right there. Okay. That's pretty good. That is very powerful. Let's do another one over there. You actually have a shield bash, which also stuns them. Uh, you can go over here and do a flurry with any luck. That happens while it's still has got his back on you. That is perfect. Then we can do blow the belt so he gets a little bit easier to kill. Uh, we are going to wait until the uh, party heal is done. You're not attacking. Uh, well, that doesn't matter. Uh, insufficient mana. I know. That is actually a lot of mana that it requires 43. Yeah. I think we're going to be okay. Yeah, you go over there. I'll, I'll stick around over here. How much mana does she have? 36. Oh, she's reserving some. I don't think it regenerates immediately, but... I don't think we need it either. There it is. Oh, he's alive! Are you alright? I am... better now, I think. My mind is my own again. Blessed Andraste. I would never have forgiven myself had you died. Not after I brought you here. What a fool I am. Please. Connor's not responsible for this. There That's... must be some way we can save him. That is such a great setup for her revealing that she's the one responsible for it later on. That is, that is, I, if, yeah. If the game is setting that up, then, oh boy, that is great. Because she, he's not responsible. I am. And all that, that would be, that, yeah, that's right. Um, I'm not about to kill a child. There must be some way to save him. The thing is, if I want to go with that, I need to figure out why she would be doing this. Blaming it on the guy that poisoned her husband. If she's the one that or that asked the guy, well, she probably wouldn't because he said it was the other dude, but that asked him to poison the, the king or the Earl or whatever. Um, but she's still, if she is in it, then what does she stand to gain? I'm going to confront her because that of these over here, it seems to be the only option. You knew about this all along. I, yes. I didn't tell you because I believed we could help him. I still do. I'm sorry, my lady, but Connor has become an abomination. He's no longer your son. You! You did this to Connor! I didn't. I didn't summon any demon. I told you. Please, if you'll let me help. Help? You betrayed me! I brought you here to help my son, and in return you poisoned my husband? This is the mage you spoke of? Didn't you say he was in the dungeon? He was. I assumed the creatures had killed him by now. He must have been set free. Yeah, that's a bit of a plot hole if the if I'm correct. <laughs> because why didn't she just kill him? He must have been set free. I thought it'd be u be useful, seeing as he helped start this. Useful? After everything he did, he should be executed! Without him, none of this would have happened. Your secrecy made his actions possible, Isold. But I... I know what you must think of me, my lady. I took advantage of your fear. I'm sorry, I never knew it would come to this. Well, I shan't turn away his help. Not yet. And if Connor is truly an abomination... He's not always the demon you saw. Connor is still inside him, and sometimes he breaks through. Well, Please. it's the other way around. 
I just want to protect him. The demon is still Isn't inside. Isn't that what started this? Connor. You hired the mage to teach Connor in secret, to protect him. If they discovered Connor had magic, then they'd take I him away. I thought if he learned I just enough to hide it, then... I think this is dispelling the, um, my suspicions. It explains... It explains the setting up of her... Or the game kind of hinting that she might have something to do with this. It's this. This is the, the, the answer. This is why the game was pretty... Sh not shady. What's the word? Um, you know, sort of hinting at her having something to do with this. It's because it was her secrecy that got us here in the first place. The good thing is I can change my personal opinion as the player... Uh, without actually having to do a U-turn or any turn whatsoever with my character's actions right now, because I didn't really commit uh, to accusing her of anything. Um, although that might be because there is no way to accuse her of anything. Because I did kind of go that way. But I think we might be able to rescue this if we are compassionate, compassionate enough towards all of them right now. Well, mostly her and him, the other guy. Um... Because he didn't really have anything to do with this. As far as I can tell. So. Where is Arl Eamon? Upstairs in his room. I think the demon has been keeping him alive. So if we destroy the demon, then... Then my husband may perish. Yes. But what if this... Johan or Jo... John? John? Let's go, John. What can you add to this discussion? The demon in Connor needs to be destroyed. Killing Connor is the easiest way to do that, certainly. But there is another way. A mage could confront the demon in the Fade without hurting Connor himself. We have what do you mean? A lot is of the mages. demon not within Connor? Not physically. The demon approached Connor in the Fade while he dreamt and controls him from there. We can use the connection between them to find the demon. You can enter the Fade, then? And kill the demon w without hurting my boy? No, but I can enable another mage to do so. It normally requires lyrium and, and several mages. But I have... blood magic. Blood magic. You think... What difference does that make? Lyrium provides the power for the ritual. But I can take that power from someone's life energy. This ritual requires a lot of it, however. All of it, in fact. So, someone must die? Someone must be sacrificed? Yes, and then we send another mage into the Fade. I can't enter because I'm doing the ritual. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. It's not much of an option. No, 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 it's, it's a good option. Can we sacrifice you? That would be good. Someone's going to die either way. Well, yeah, I, I'm not... Is there no other method? I, I really wanted him to tell me how to save the king, because he was the one that poisoned him. Maybe it's not possible to, but is there no other method? The power has to come from somewhere, and that means either lyrium or blood. Why don't Then we... let it be my blood. I no, will be the sacrifice. Up. No. What? Isolde, are you mad? Eamon would never allow this. Either someone kills my son to destroy that thing inside him, or I give my life so my son can live. I thought... To me... The answer is clear. Blood magic. How can more evil be of any help here? Shut Two up. wrongs don't make a right. Can we even trust this Jowan to do as he promises? So that's how it's pronounced. Give him access to such power, and who knows what he shall do? I am uneasy. It's it fine. does seem like a sensible choice with a willing participant. Connor is blameless in this. He should not have to pay it's the good, price. It's a good point. It. Uh... It's up to you, my friend. No, it's not. You know more about such things than I do. And it's your companion going into the Fade. The decision is yours. You jerks. I thought I thought the person to die would be the king. Because that makes the most sensible... Maybe it needs to be a willing... Comp you know. I, I, I really thought it was going to be sacrifice the kings to save Connor. Or vice versa. Or something like that. Um, but it seems to be less of a choice right now. Uh, or in, at least in that apartment... Uh, you could also be the one to sacrifice yourself. Why don't you? Like, you did that already. You could be like, no, no, I... Th actually, that is a turn of... That is a turn of... That's not okay. 
<laughs> they forgot about his character. I think they forgot about his character in this particular point over here. He was willing to die for her before. And now he's not. Let's see if I can somehow change this. Then I know what we must do. Are you sure you're ready to die, Lady Zolda? I'm not sure the risk is worth it. There must be another way to enter the Fade. I'm gonna say that. You can find Lyrium and more mages at the Circle of Magi, if they would even do it. No, that, that would take too much time. Then there's not much more to say. Something else will need to be done. Yeah, you jerk. Yeah, you could stay the same character as you were when we talked outside. <sighs> I'm not sure the risk is worth it. Save my son and you will be rewarded. That I promise. His life is worth more to me than anything. Even my own. You can't keep your promise if you're dead, my lady. <laughs> That's very true. Let's go with that. Tigan will know the promise I made and he can convince Eamon to uphold it. I'm not certain my brother would be Wait. very thrilled to learn we sacrificed his wife to blood magic. You are mistaken. He will see that we saved his son. If Connor dies, he's left only with a wife who, who lied to him. Yeah, this is this is repent. Uh, re this is her repenting. Is it repenting the word? I think so. Um. So in a in a. It, from a poetic standpoint, it makes sense. If you know what I mean, in the poetic thing. Um, otherwise, I'm killing the sun. It, yeah. Unfortunately, it just it's just super glaring that he was willing to die. Because I, I, I mean, maybe it's not like super canon that he was willing to die. Because I had to ask specific questions for him to say that he was willing to die. I think he said he was willing to die. He was he was pretty okay with the whole, the whole situation. Um, but it's a real shame. We should have been able to not allow him to come in here, and then we wouldn't fight him, and then she would have to be sacrificed. But if we allowed him to come in here, then we would fight him, and then he could have been sacrificed. Maybe, especially if he were... Yeah, this could have been rewritten to, to not be... Just destroying the family, I guess. Because she's blameless right now. I mean, not blameless, because obviously not. The the whole thing about, you know, blood mages coming in here to, just because she didn't want her son to be part of the the um, circle of magi, basically. That's pretty hypocritical. But, you know, that's, you know, par for the course, really. With these fancy noble families, ha ha ha. Um, but yeah, I, yeah, I, st I can't, I can't. <laughs> I just can't, like, he was willing, he's not saying anything, and I can't make the choice. I think I'm saying this because I really thought we were going to sacrifice our Lehman to save Connor, or the other way around. And especially because our Lehman is probably going to die anyway. I hope he doesn't. Well, are you sure you're ready to die, Lady Zolda? If there is even a chance to save Connor, I am. You rest your hopes on this young mage. He poisoned Eamon, and he could take your life power and attack for all we know. You would be a fool to try. No, I am willing to take his word. I would give my life for the chance to undo what I have done. That's a I still do not agree, but it cannot be my choice. Man, you jerk. Man, you jerk. That line just made it all the more glaring. First off, she just offhand offhandedly dismisses the possibility. He would be a fool to try. Why would he? He wouldn't, actually. He... He super wouldn't. Um, I mean, yeah, but there's nobody else around. He he could kill us all and just, yeah, that's that. Um, but uh, more importantly, he doesn't agree that she should die. So he should be, I will be, I will do it. I will be the one. Oh, man. Okay, well, I guess we know what we must do. If you jerk don't want to die, I guess she's the one that needs to. My son awaits your decision. Make it quickly. We let Joan cast the ritual. Thank you. If this will save my son, then I am not afraid. Then who will go into the Fade? One of your companions? Yeah, Morgan can do it. Can't you, Morgan? 
I notice you do not ask me first. I did... No matter. It's... I will go as I... I am your willing slave. That's not... You have my Future. eternal gratitude. May the Maker go with you, madam. I certainly hope not. That would be rather distracting. Then let's... <laughs> let's get this started. I th I'm pretty sure that line... She didn't dislike the line. It's because I really didn't have a choice in regards to how I asked her. Especially because my instinct was to ask her. <laughs> anyway. One-handed spellcasting. The best spellcasting. Is she gonna vaporize? He face bombed. I think we'll be okay with Morrigan. I think it's gonna be fine. And back here we are. Win didn't like that, and neither did Morrigan. Ah, ah well. Anyway, we're out of time for the day, so we're gonna need to uh, go forth in the next episode. For right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Dragon Age Origins. I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.